Today we are talking about Bitcoin, you laser eyed diamond handed geniuses. We're talking about Bitcoin and this video is my prediction on the price of Bitcoin. I'm going to give you the exact number, even down to the, the cent, the pennies. I'm going to give you an exact number of what I think the price of Bitcoin will get to. Today we are talking about Bitcoin and I am not going to show you any charts. I am not that type of person. I'm not going to talk about head and shoulders. I'm not going to talk about the minute chart, the monthly chart, the weekly chart, the crossover point. I'm not going to talk about any of these things. That's not what I do. I believe making up patterns on charts is just a game. It's an entertainment game to entertain you, the viewers, and make it look like the person that's telling you this information is really clever. When in actual fact, they're telling you loads of complicated things, and that's just to make them look clever. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to try and pull the wool over your eyes, trying to show you some charts and try and confuse the hell out of you. That's not what I do. I'm going to look at what Bitcoin has returned halving on halving. Like I said, by the end of this video, you will get a no BS price prediction on Bitcoin for the next halving. So far, I've mentioned the halving, the Bitcoin halving a couple of times in this video. If you are not sure what the Bitcoin halving is, I will briefly explain what the Bitcoin halving is. The Bitcoin halving is a halving event that happens every four years. It has just happened this year in 2024 what actually happens at that event every four years the supply of bitcoin reduces by half hence the word halving if you think about it from a supply and demand point of view the supply halves but the demand stays the same so when you have less supply and more demand or the same demand that usually mean the price goes up so every four years there is a bitcoin halving and this usually and has historically triggered the price of bitcoin going up so we have just hit the halving this year so imagine digging gold mining gold in the earth the more gold you take out of the earth the less gold is in the earth pretty simple you may not know how much gold is in the earth but there is less gold in the earth because you've just taken it out. So this is what the Bitcoin halving represents. The Bitcoin halving represents a lowering of supply. So every four years, there is a Bitcoin halving to represent less supply of Bitcoin, similar to gold running out in this earth. The next halving is in 2028. We've just had a halving in 2024. Now the price of Bitcoin does not increase instantly. Historically, the halving event happens and the price doesn't actually do anything straight away. But six to 12 months after the halving, historically, the supply shock usually kicks in then. So we are still looking forward to that six to 12 month supply shock of Bitcoin after the halving. Quick disclaimer, I am an investor in Bitcoin. I do have Bitcoin. I hold Bitcoin myself. So the fact that if Bitcoin goes up, I do benefit from that. However, I hate watching videos of people trying to pump Bitcoin. So I'm really going to try and be impartial in this video. No, I'm not going to tell you that it's going to reach a million pounds by the next halving. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say it's going to go to a billion. It's going crazy. You've got to get in. You're going to miss out. I'm not going to say all of that. I'm going to try my best to be as genuine and impartial as possible on my price prediction. The genuine sentiment of the market right now is in 2024, for me, I do not follow the news. I do not watch these Bitcoin articles because I do believe a lot of people are trying to pump it. So I try to stay out of all that. I don't watch the charts. I regularly dollar cost average into Bitcoin, but I stay out of the news. I do not watch the charts. I do not want to be manipulated. I understand what it is myself and I buy into it regularly. But the sentiment of the market as a whole, not just Bitcoin, the market as a whole, is that we have had some tough years. We had COVID. We had the drop in the interest rates, which means the stock market propelled up at a rate that we could not have imagined. Then obviously what was going to come was inflation. Inflation came and the interest rates went up. That means the market fell in 2022. That was painful. That was painful for everyone, including Bitcoin. In 2024, August the 1st, 2024, my gut feeling, my sentiment on the market is the interest rates are due to come down soon at some point. That means easy money will start flooding into the market. I do not think it will drop to the rates that we have been used to over the last 10 years. 
but I do think the interest rates will drop slowly and easy money will flood back into the market slowly, which I do think has a huge benefit on Bitcoin and the market itself. So that is my sentiment on the market. That is my prediction over the next year or two years. And that usually means when the interest rates go down, the market goes up because there's more easy money. Money is cheaper to borrow. So that usually means that the market goes up. Spending goes up, the economy goes up and the market goes up. That's just a general rule and the general sentiment of the market that I see it right now. I cannot predict the future. I am just going to make some educated guesses on what could influence Bitcoin over the next few years. My personal guess is Donald Trump will become the next president of the United States of America, the leader of the free world. I do not think that in itself will influence the price of Bitcoin. However, I do guess that America may use Bitcoin as a store of their assets. They don't want their money to depreciate with inflation, so they will put their money into assets that grow or maintain their value, like gold, like real estate, like land. And they may use Bitcoin as a store of that alternative asset on their balance sheet, which I think will have a positive impact on Bitcoin's price in the near future. I do think if America do this, this will trigger an unbanning of Bitcoin mining from China. Now, China is one of the biggest countries in the world. We all know that. So unbanning of the mining of Bitcoin in China would be huge for the security of Bitcoin. It would allow Bitcoin to be even more secure than the most securest network in the world that it currently is, which again will have a positive impact on the price of Bitcoin. In America, the Securities and Exchange Commission have actually said that Bitcoin, yes, is a real thing. So when people are saying it's not actually a real thing, Bitcoin is a real thing. This has recently allowed huge companies, huge organizations like BlackRock, the biggest companies in the world to start buying Bitcoin and putting it on their balance sheet. Other countries and their regulatory commissions will also start proving Bitcoin and allowing companies registered in that company to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet, which again will have a positive impact on Bitcoin. El Salvador was the first country to adopt Bitcoin as its national currency. Going forward, I do see that happening more and more with certain countries with inflation rates that are going absolutely crazy, where you can be a millionaire in that country for the price of like $10. These are the types of countries that could adopt Bitcoin. Bigger countries can start adopting Bitcoin. Argentina's new president is a big fan of Bitcoin as well. Argentina is a much bigger country than El Salvador. El Salvador is a very small country in terms of population size in this world. So I do believe that in the future, bigger countries will start adopting Bitcoin as their national currency. I do not see the petrodollar, the American dollar being overthrown by Bitcoin. Not in my lifetime, maybe eventually, but not in my lifetime. I do not see that happening. So these are my future predictions on Bitcoin. I do think Donald Trump will be the next president. I do think the United States of America will put Bitcoin on their alternative asset balance sheet. I do think that China will unban the mining of Bitcoin. I do think that other countries will start adopting Bitcoin as their national currency. I do think that interest rates will start to drop, which will allow more easy money to flood into the market and Bitcoin's price to go up. I told you a moment ago that I'm not going to try and build up Bitcoin and be a fear monger, trigger your FOMO, but I've got to try and predict some bad things that could happen to Bitcoin as well. The truth is I cannot really see any bad things happening to Bitcoin. If I was going to really think outside the box and guess of something really terrible that could happen to Bitcoin, there would be a solar flare that just destroys all electricity on Earth and shuts down the internet forever. Seems very, very unlikely. There could be some news where Bitcoin was actually created by a government agency. The whole point of Bitcoin is to be anti-government and be self-custody. So if it was created by a particular government, this would be a problem and I think that would drop the price as well. I also think this is extremely unlikely as well because the creation of Bitcoin was an extremely sophisticated thing that happened in around 2008, 2009. And today, in 2024, the government still can't wrap their head around creating something similar where you can pretty much just copy and paste it, but they cannot create something similar. They're struggling right now to create something similar. So to say that in 2008, 2009, government agency actually created this i just can't see it i just can't see it myself 
I mean, it might be true, and if it's true, the whole price of Bitcoin will absolutely tank, so I can't see it. There could be a hacking of Bitcoin, extremely unlikely. Anyone who knows anything about Bitcoin is shouting at the camera right now. What are you talking about? It cannot be hacked. You're absolutely right, but let's just say if it could. If it could be hacked, that would tank the price of Bitcoin. However, the incentive of someone to hack Bitcoin would be to take all the Bitcoin and be super rich. But if you hacked Bitcoin and took all the Bitcoin and became super rich, you would tank the price and it would go to zero. So what would be the point in hacking it? I mean, seriously, what would be the point? Hack and stole all these people's money and now all that money is worthless to you. So there is absolutely no point and no incentive for someone to hack it. But even if someone tried to hack it, it's almost impossible to hack because you've got to hack into a number of random people's computer around the world you don't know who they are you hacker you don't know who they are in advance who you need to hack into their computers you need to hack into their computers and their mining software randomly all over the world at the same time and start approving transactions that are not legitimate to be able to do that and predict it's just no we're talking billions and billions to one a super unlikely we're talking billions and billions to one chances of that ever really happening and even then, the motivation to do it is just not there because all the money you take would just turn out to be worthless anyway. Global adoption. Very simply, I do not think that Bitcoin will be the underlying asset for the entire world. I just don't see it happening. Maybe in a hundred years, maybe if something catastrophic happens and in a hundred years, it's the saving grace to have Bitcoin as the underlying asset. But in my lifetime, I just cannot see it happening. If it does happen, I would be extremely happy because I would be one of those earlier investors before it was adopted in the world. So I'd be super happy if that happens, but I just do not see it happening. I do believe certain countries will adopt Bitcoin as their national currency. And I do believe a lot of countries are doing this right now and will continue to keep doing it and doing it more and more is putting Bitcoin on their alternative asset balance sheet. But I do not see Bitcoin taking over the entire world. Institutional investing has kicked in this year. When the SEC authorized Bitcoin as a legitimate asset, big companies started buying into Bitcoin. They started putting those assets on their balance sheet. BlackRock, the biggest company in the world, the richest company in the world, BlackRock, puts Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They have thousands, hundreds of thousands of geniuses working for them analysts working for them and they think putting bitcoin on their balance sheet is a good thing they think that because they know the market demands it they know there's a huge audience of people that want bitcoin on their balance sheet and they want it to be really easy historically the acquisition of bitcoin has been quite difficult to buy and hold it where do you buy it from where do you hold it how do you get it am i going to be subject to a scam i don't know it's quite difficult but now big businesses like BlackRock, the biggest company in the world, is buying Bitcoin amongst many others, is buying Bitcoin and putting it on their balance sheet because that makes it easier for us, the retail investor, to buy Bitcoin and easily put it as part of our pensions and things like that. So now it is much, much easier to buy Bitcoin for the general public. What Bitcoin needs for the price to skyrocket is for it to be adopted by banks, big banks, and allow the account holders of those banks to buy Bitcoin on the mobile banking app. It needs to be easier to buy and hold Bitcoin. So for example, you have your mobile banking app and what you would do, you'd see your bank account right here and just below it, you'd have your Bitcoin account. You can just simply buy Bitcoin straight on the app from your current account. You would move the money straight into your Bitcoin account and it would buy Bitcoin and you can see the value and how much Bitcoin you have in that account. That itself would be huge. Eventually, Bitcoin would actually be easy to buy, easy to hold. And my prediction is that would be the biggest impact on the price of Bitcoin. So the first bank that adopts this will have a huge amount of customers. There is a market of hundreds of millions of people that like Bitcoin. So if you as a bank decide that you want to adopt Bitcoin and you want to make it easy for your account holders to buy Bitcoin and you do this on the mobile banking app, you have the first mover advantage. You will make a killing. If you are the first bank to do this, I do expect a referral fee, my friend. I do expect it. So mention it in the comments below. I know there's no history of me following that, so 
it's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. But the first bank that does this, for example, if it was NatWest Bank, very unlikely. But if they did, so many account holders of other banks would go to NatWest and say, I can now buy Bitcoin with this particular bank and it's super easy to hold. That would be huge for the price of Bitcoin. And I think that would have the biggest effect on the price of Bitcoin because other banks would all of a sudden start adopting this as well. And the world would have easy access to buying and holding Bitcoin. You will see so many biased Bitcoin predictions on YouTube. I am going to get to my unbiased prediction on YouTube's price very, very soon. No nonsense, an actual price prediction by the next halving. But you will see so many price predictions of people like Kathy Wood that says Bitcoin is going to go to a million pounds by next week because she wants that asset to go up so much. She owns so much of that asset. When it goes up and she creates that FOMO and people start buying in, she makes a lot of money on that. So you can't really trust people that are super unbiased. Myself today, I'm trying my best to be super unbiased for you. If you are liking this type of content on Bitcoin financial independence, retiring early, then hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can hear all the future videos on these topics. Now you've stayed till the end, you listen to me jibber jabber this talking head just here talking away about Bitcoin. I do get super excited about Bitcoin. I really do. I think it's actually really genius. I think such a genius thing. It was way before its time. What a quality thing that has been created in Bitcoin. It's been adopted by the world. And I don't know whether it's just the name. The name stands out. It's kind of like McDonald's and Coca-Cola, where the name and the brand just really pops for you in our human brain. We really like it. And it just seems to work better than any other brand. I am going to give you my price prediction now. Without further ado, I'm going to give you my price prediction and I'm going to explain why I predicted this price as well for you. My price prediction for the next halving in 2028 for Bitcoin is $255,038.40. I told you I was going to give you an exact number on this and I'll talk to you why. Every single year since 2012, I don't want to go before 2012, because that early adoption was just crazy. 2012 price was approximately $13. The 2016 price for the next halving was $665. This was a 5,015% increase over that four years, which is absolutely nuts from an investment point of view. The next halving in 2020, the price was $9,577. These are approximate, so you know, not exactly on these close enough. The price was $9,577, which was a 1,340% increase. You notice now that increase is still an insane increase. However, it's a drop on the 5,000 plus increase of the four years beforehand. Uh, the, next, the next halving of Bitcoin was this year, and the price of that was $64,080 in 2024's halving. That's the price of Bitcoin in 2024. That means there was a 569% increase over those four years. So you can see here that we are seeing a decrease in the rate of return halving on halving. So the rate of return on the next halving is likely to be the less than the rate of the return from the last halving. So I personally predict the last halving rate of return was 569% over those four years rate of return i predict it will be just short of 400 percent return i predict it will be 398 percent return on the investment so from 64,080 dollars i predict with an almost 400 percent return over the next four years of 255,038 dollars and 40 cents is my prediction so you might think that type of return over the next four years is crazy and you're absolutely correct, but it gets better than that. The price of Bitcoin usually goes up between the halvings much higher than the price of the halving itself. So I personally expect over the next 12 to 18 months that the price of Bitcoin will go even higher than this 255,000 that I'm talking about in the price of Bitcoin. It will then drop over the following three years and level out to this price. So I do expect it will go even higher, but today I'm only giving you the price of the Bitcoin halving in 2028, which I predict 
from my simple math that I've created here. And when you think about it from that point of view, the S&P 500, what is allegedly known as the market, which is the top 500 companies in America, generally gives you a return of seven, eight, nine, ten percent a year on average. So to have nearly 400 percent in four years, that's a 100 percent return every single year. This is all average. It will go like this. It will go up and down. That's a 400 percent. That's a 100 percent average year on year. So compared to the market, the return on investment from Bitcoin is huge. It is crazy. I would love to know what you guys think. Please leave your comments in the description below. Do you think this example is realistic? It's unrealistic. It's going to the moon. What is your price prediction in 2028 of Bitcoin? I'm going to be releasing a video very soon of when will Bitcoin reach a million? When will one Bitcoin reach one million dollars? And I'm going to give you the date of my prediction. And just like today, I'm going to give you an exact date on when, when I predict Bitcoin will reach a million pounds. So hit the notification bell so you will be notified of when that video is released. If you like this type of content and you want to know how to go from a beginner from zero to a millionaire, then watch this video right here. I'm going to finish this video off with a quote from one of my favorite Bitcoiners, and that is British Puddle. There are only three rules to Bitcoin. Rule number one, you buy Bitcoin. Rule number two, you shut the fuck up. And rule number three, you become fabulously wealthy.